Baby, let's get comfortable. Ba -da -da. You make me feel. <laughs> Kenya's got a gun. <laughs> Music. Get you go. What? Together. Ra 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 ra. Come and talk to me. I really wanna. Don't sing anymore, otherwise we have to pay. <laughs> the hotel, motel, yeah. holiday yeah. Whoa, what? Yeah. You got it going on. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I'm having fun, I'm with my man, the music's going, the, the, the beautiful atmosphere, there's like 2,000 2, people in there. I'm just like, ow. <laughs> he represents my age group very well as far as those looks, right? He's got all that good cruise hair. I mean, except for a couple of hiccups in his life, you know, the alleged interviews to find Sari. I mean, Sari's mother. You know, the Scientology and, you know, Nicole Kidman and stuff. What is that on her arm? She's, she's looking for a way out. Look how she's, he's looking one way and she's looking for the other. Tom told a German television network that he was blindsided when Katie filed for divorce five days before his 50th birthday. He said um, that he did not expect uh, this violation. And um, he also said that it, 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 this time has been a time to reflect, you know, since she escaped. I mean, <laughs> But it was, I mean, the way Katie escaped though, you know, <laughs> she had to have been plotting this for at least, I figure, six to eight months. I didn't watch, what's that show? Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> right, that's the show that she was on. I never watched Dawson's Creek. I, I have no idea what that is. You know what I know you for? I know you for passing the interview and marrying Tom Cruise. <laughs> we heard a, a, something about an alleged interview process to be Mrs. Cruise, you know? So I don't know. All I know is Katie, as much as I would love to hear all the tea, I want you to live to see Thursday. <laughs> well, you know, the Scientologists don't play. And in my mind, they will get you, Katie. Yeah? What, what, what are you doing? No, I just, I, well, I had this, uh, I had these really? socks made because I'm obsessed with Tupac. And so over Christmas, I don't know why, but I got sort of griefy and missing Tupac. So I had these socks made for you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sock cam. Oh. Sock cam. <laughs> I have a million of them. <laughs> I love this. Oh, thank you. R ring cam. Oh my gosh, you're Here. so young. You can have it. I can have it? Yeah. I'm wearing it. Okay. Thank you. I think you have to put it on this. This one. It's because it's going to be too big for you if you don't. Oh, Here, it's hold on. good. Put oh. your knuckles in there. Wait, are you really giving this to Yeah, me? I really am. You're not going to take it away? I'm Jer not going to take it away. <sighs> so? It, it is, a, it's, thank you, it, it's official. It's a... I wear these kind of glasses every day. What, I'm like, <laughs> like, please. So I've been in my relationship for 20 years. We have six kids together. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I started back dating, and my friends, my sisters, who are here, they always say, you need to take off your wedding band now. It's been five years. Why do you keep your wedding band on? Because I like, excuse me. <laughs> so I'm asking you today, should I tell her or just stay out of it? <laughs> so I've been seeing this guy for about a year now, and I want more. Like, we've been doing, like, relationship stuff. He doesn't. Stuff. <laughs> He's not that into you. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me. 
So I went on a date, a first date, um, this weekend, and everything was going good until the bill came. And then what happened? He suggested we split it. And now he would like to take me out again, so... <laughs> and that's why they're single. Okay. And she moved to the Middle East with her hot billionaire husband, Wasim Almana. Don't you find him attractive? <laughs> they zoomed on on a lady who was like, oh, hell no. The best way to get over someone is to get under someone else, is what I said. <laughs> he was all like... <laughs> we caught you, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a purple woman in the audience next to 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> That's you. Are you a man or a woman? I can't tell. You're just purple. Yes. I'm Ursula the Sea Witch. Oh, oh Ursula the Sea Witch. Hiya, Ursula. Shake for me. Okay, thank you. Welcome to the show. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> when you are one of my co-hosts, you've got to be ready to play. Yeah. Can we talk? Yeah. All right. Beyonce and Kim Kardashian have both lost their crowns. <laughs> right now, it's all about Taylor Swift. <laughs> Why do I feel I know the man that they just showed? Do I know you? Maybe not. You look familiar. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid show. Look, shady cameraman. Flat neck. She's got a type. She likes um, a, a yellow man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. Are they She's got a type. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he a James? That's a James Bond with that woman. <laughs> he's of a particular age. He already has his kids, so he's not bugging her to untuck her ovaries and do something. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I thought that was a senior moment at first. Do you know what I mean? The youngest boy's trying his best to like girls. And, <laughs> and, and, um. In LA, guest houses are fabulous. They've got heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how we are here at the show. Everything's just a little bit too much. Stupid show that this is. <laughs> the tickets are free if you're ever in the New York City. You all have a seat, co-host. <laughs> Every one of you all looks fabulous, but I only have one almost legend. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Wait, what are you leaving? We got more time. Have a seat. Thank you. Wait, where are you going? Have a seat. <laughs> Between America's Next Got Talent. <laughs> if you've ever seen her on America's um, Got Models, oh my God, I'm confused. Oh my God. <laughs> America's Top Models. Yeah. Okay. Next Top Model. Next Top Model. Next Top Model? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. When Next you see her model. on the model show. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not on American Idol anymore, or whatever, that the, 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 the voice, the X Factor. <laughs> One of these shows has to go away just to make it easier for my old brain to process. <laughs> Heidi Klum revealed that her father filmed her while giving birth to its fly season. <laughs> Don't talk about my state unless you live here. Oh, there's a gnat in here. <laughs> or the president of the NAA. Get out, fly! <laughs> he can do what he... Oh, fly! 
<laughs> if he sent these pictures, though, to his ex-babies... Bye, Fly! I love you back <laughs> Um... <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, stupid show. Oh, oh wait. Done. Oh, wait. Let's get today's caller on the line. <laughs> Hello. 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 Have you been watching our show every day on KTVU in San Francisco? Oh, yes. It's the only thing I watch on that channel. Yes! <laughs> oh, Celia. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Rosemary, what part of California do you live? Hi, San Diego. Yeah. How you doing? Oh. It's Wendy and Suzanne. Thank you so much for watching our show. You are today's contestant on oh, Wendy's Wendy. Tropical Wendy. Party Wendy. Giveaway. So I'm I... from Diego, San Diego, California. <laughs> <laughs> she probably parasailed. <laughs> Have you ever parasailed? Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Your first answer is your only answer, okay? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Taylor Swift's Shake It Off song. Wait. We're, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. We'll do that story uh -huh. tomorrow. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to okay. pull the lever. All right. Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, or Jimmy Walker? Oh <laughs> Kanye West or Donald Trump? Oh <laughs> Criminal Mind star Shamir Moore um, is always showing off his biceps. Yes. Ten seconds to guess which one is Shamar's. Okay. Okay. That's what I call him, Shamir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like a pap Shamir? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna show you three celebrity noses what? and you're gonna have 10 seconds to guess which one belongs to Cameron Diaz. Right. <laughs> Silly show. Is it A, Cameron, I B, Demi Moore? Not B, no, that's just... Does my girl have hips and an and a, a hourglass figure? You better work, girl. <laughs> Do you see an hourglass figure? Work, honey. Um, anyway, I'm shaped like a pea. <laughs> you get that joke later? They said small P or big P. I said, obviously a big P. <laughs> My capital P shaped body, you know, like, I don't, I don't. You just got the capital P, sir? Thank you. Big boobs, flat butt. That's me. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Now you think I have a struggle booty. This is a struggle. Uh, this, this is her. This is her in 2013. Now here's the new and improved Iggy. <laughs> Natural. Uh -uh. You could you could get that butt by doing squats. I love Missy. Her birthday's in July, like my birthday's in July. I have thyroid disease, and so does she. Oh. I have a disease. Who's laughing? No. <laughs> so Charlie Sheen is getting slammed by Jenny McCarthy. If I have to be upfront about a herpy, right. how could you not be upfront about HIV? What I love about Jenny McCarthy is that Jenny McCarthy is open about the herpy. Yeah. She called it herpy, it's herpes. <laughs> so now I can tell a little story. One of the first times that we met and you came up to my radio show and you had a herpy on your lip. <laughs> it, 
it looked like it, like it needed its own area code. <laughs> Three of your staffers were nice enough to model some of the other styles Oh, for me. I almost didn't recognize you girls. Oh, they look great, Outside right? Outside of your jeans and Uggs. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Thanks, girls. Back to jeans and Uggs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think she's pretty? I think Abby Lee Miller is really pretty and she's got a really good smile. But if she's a crook, <laughs> the girls in prison are gonna love that pretty. <laughs> Orlando Bloom. It's, it's nice. He's also got the turtleneck, just so you know. <laughs> That's not for me, but some women like extra seasoning. Do you believe in life after love? Yes! I look good for 71! Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like, I want that at 71. Yeah. I don't, no, I don't want to wear a granny outfit at 71. I want to be popping and locking like Cher at 71. I do, I do. <laughs> Beyonce opened the show with her husband, Jay-Z. They did that song, Drunk in Love. I thought that she was super sexy. There's only like her who can pull off being on a stage nearly naked in a, in a chair. And find, I find that more entertaining than the entire earth, wind and fire out there with the whole brass section. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like there are some, no disrespect to earth, wind and fire or anybody who performs with a, with a live band, but I'm just saying, uh, there's some people who can just sit in a chair and be mesmerizing and then everyone else who needs help from others. Yeah. You will watch our show every day. You will watch our show. Uh, this is my new favorite prop. Yes. 